Today let's learn about cephalometric landmarks. Remember, ceph means head and metric means measurement. Let's draw cella anision. Cella is the center of cella tersica or the pituitary fossa and anision is a point where nasal and the frontal sutures meet. Next is porion and orbital. Porion is a superior most point of the ear. Now, if this is the orbit, our eyes will be inside it. Orbital is the lowest point on the outline of orbit. This plane from porion to orbital is called the Frankfurt horizontal plane. It is the most commonly used horizontal plane for cephalometric orientation and it is used as a reference plane in Down's analysis. The two pokey spines near the nose is called the anterior nasal spine ANS and the one behind is the posterior nasal spine. ANS is the anterior most point of the maxilla. The deepest point between the ANS and the inferior point of the maxillary alveolar process is called the point A. It is also called a subspinal because it's under the spines. The deepest point in the curve between pogonion and the superiormost point in the mandibular process is called point B. This is also called a supramental because it's above the menton. Now let's look at the chin area. Pogonion is the anterior most point. Gnathion is anterior and inferior. It's like midway between Pogonion and Menton. And Menton is the inferior most point on chin. Gonion is the point at the angle of mandible. And CO is the superior point on the condyle. CO stands for condyle. Articular is the intersection of the inferior surface of the cranial base and the posterior border of the ascending rami of the mandible. AR. Next is Bolton's point. It is the highest point on the upward curvature of the retrocondylar fossa. Basion, BA, is the lowest point on the anterior medial margin of the foramen magnum in the mid sagittal plane. If we draw a line from Bolton to Nasion and take a midpoint from Cella to this plane, this plane of Bolton to Nasion, we get a perpendicular midpoint and this is called the registration point. Now let's look at the planes in cephalometry. There are vertical and horizontal planes. First, let's see the vertical planes. First one is from point A to Pogonion and it's called APOG. The second one is from Nasion to Pogonion, NAPOG, and it is also called the angle of convexity. Coming to the horizontal plane, we have SN plane from Sela to Nasion, followed by Porion to Orbital, which is also called the Frankfurt horizontal plane. We have ANS to PNS, which is the palatal plane. And across the occlusal points of the molars, you will see the occlusal plane. Lastly, we have the mandibular plane. Now, this plane is different for each analysis. For downs, it's gonion to mention. So, it's go me. For steners, it is gonion gnathion. So, it's g-o-g-n-a. And for tweed, he just kept it simple. So, he decided to go with tangents to the uh, mandibular plane. Let's get to the mnemonics now. SN stands for sun on top. S-U-N has SN. So sun is on top. Porion orbital. For porion orbital, it is Porsche below. Porsche is a car name and cars, they go on the road. So sun on top and Porsche below. Porsche has the words P-O-O-R. To remember the spines, just think a pokey spine. A pokey spine. A stands for ANS pokey. The word P for PNS. For point A, it's A about teeth. About referring to the central incisor, maxillary central incisor. And B, point B is B below teeth. So B is below the teeth. Coming to the chin, you can remember my pug gnashed those mentos. So pug is a dog, gnash means grind between the teeth and mentos, we all know what is mentos. So my pug gnashed 
mentus. Pug for pogonion, nash, nation, mentus for menton. Remember, now, the O's are at the back. Exception is pogonion, which is at the chin. Okay. O's at the back are G-O, B-O, P-O, and C-O. Gonion, Bolton's point, porion, and condylion. Now, these can be remembered as I decided to go, gonions go, to Bolton Bar. So, there's a bar named Bolton, okay? So, Bolton will remind you of the Bolton um, Bar, B-A-A-R. So, B-A, Basion, and A-R is Articular. C-O is easy because Condylion starts with C-O. So, there's no need of a mnemonic for that one. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Please leave a like and a comment and thank you for watching.